I'm two months early for Halloween. Rainbow Ink! Hey guys, and welcome back to Rainbow Ink. Today is another Disney Bound Friday. Today we are doing Jack Skeleton, the Pumpkin King from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm two months early for Halloween. Anyways, we do have a full outfit today, shoes and all, and accessories of course, as well. Anything that was used in past days, balance up your card right up there, it'll also be in the link description below if you like to check it out as well and see how I used it in that past days bound. But yeah, let's jump right in to the Disney Bound work our way up like we always do, starting with the shoes, and for this case, boots. So for his shoes, I couldn't figure out if they were maybe dress shoes or if they were boots. So I went with my black lace up with the zipper on the side combat boots that I've used a couple times before for Disney Bounds. They're just normal black combat boots. So yeah, but the last time these were used, I believe, was in John Smith up there, also in the description below. I think it was John Smith. I'm pretty sure it was, but if not, then I'll put the right card up and it'll be in the right video in the link description. So yeah. Okay, so next up, I know with his pants, it's the same pattern as his shirt slash jacket but i couldn't find that pattern and in my research i just found that i can just use a pair of black bottoms so we have a pair of black leggings they're long legged leggings and yeah they're just black leggings they're just it's gonna be his pants again i know his has the design on them of the stripes going down i couldn't find striped bottoms like that i thankfully found a shirt like that which we'll get to here in a minute of course but again these are just long legged black leggings um last time a pair of black leggings was I don't know if it was this specific pair. I believe it was Jafar. I might be wrong. There's that. Okay, so today we are layering. Okay, so for the first layer, it's going to be this long sleeve white shirt. I've used this shirt half a dozen times. Reason why I'm using a long sleeve white shirt is because he is literally a skeleton. He's a white skeleton. And underneath his jacket, you see white and also his hands are white. So I plan on having my sleeve stuck out to give it that emphasis of it almost going over my hand. Because again, his hands are white because he's a white skeleton. So yeah, it's just a long sleeve white shirt. Last time this was used was in, hopefully I'm saying this right, Almost Slay from Fox and Hound up there, also in the description below. I think that might be the only one that I'm like confirmed that was the last one it was in, so there's that. Okay, so for our next layer, this was the shirt I was actually kind of talking about with the pants, and luckily I found a striped down blouse over jacket, I don't know what this is called, but it has cufflet sleeves that I do plan on cuffing a little bit better. They both go to like the middle of your forearm, I think, somewhere around there. I don't remember the, what those types of sleeves are called, I apologize. It does have a collar on it as well, and of course, this is new, it's making its Disney own debut. I literally only got this for this Disney bound. I was fortunate enough to find a top with this type of lines going down it. I know the lines are bigger than they should be, but this is what I could found, and it's making its Disney bound debut. Also, it has buttons, so I plan on buttoning it up over the white. Okay, so for this next one, I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't know if I've used this before or if this is making its City Bound debut. Something inside of me tells me that I've used this before, but I can't remember for the life of me what Disney Man I used this before, and I can't find a Disney Man with this in it, so I guess I never used this before. But anyways, it's, it's supposed to be a hair bow, but I have other plans for it. It has like little connecting pieces going out because he wears a like spider web bow tie and I wanted to incorporate that as well even though this isn't black and white it's just plain black I, I saw in research that I could just use a black bow and I figured it would work as a spider webbing because of all the different directions that these bows go out on the sides so there's that again I don't know if this was used in a past season mount I just literally forgot I literally do not remember and when I look back I literally don't see one so I guess it's thinking it's a round debut but if it has been in another Disney Bound, there'll be a card right out there, and I'll be in the link description below. But I think it might be like it's my debut. I don't know. And for our final piece, yes, it's another bow, but don't worry, this one's gonna go in my hair because he's a bald skeleton. It was either this or find a beanie. I can find a beanie, so I found a bow. So this is gonna go on the side of my head. You guys know I don't put it all the way to the back, so you guys can see it. Oh, so I don't have some control and make sure it's on camera. But anyways, I know for a death fact I never used this before on anything because this is new and I just well, got this. So so yeah, again, it's gonna go in my hair. The other one's gonna go on my chest as a bow tie, and this one's gonna go in my hair as a bow. Sorry if there's any confusion. I think this is the first time I'm using two bows at once. 
for something, so there's that. Alright, that is what I have. Let's see how it all looks together. Alright, here I am at Jack's Skeleton. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, I don't know what to say about this one. I feel like when I was putting this outfit together that it was going to be better than this, but maybe not now. Better if I that open? But I think I might be now having second thoughts. But yeah, um, with my hair, I just flattened the ponytails to put the bow in better. But anyways, sleeves are like this. Thought it was longer than this. I might have it like this. This might look better. I know his is turned over, but that might look a little better. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. But anyways. Alright, here are the boots. I know there's barely heel to them. I'm not getting up here. Sorry about it. But anyways, here's the boots with the lace-ups. And of course, there's a zipper on the side, but they're just standard black combat boots for this character. So yeah, boots. It got the leggings. Again, I know his stripes go all the way down. We have the striped shirt, which from a distance doesn't look bad. I just think it probably looks bad because the long sleeve underneath. Again, I do have it rolled up. Sadly, the sleeves on this guy don't have buttons for some reason, but it, there's buttons around the front of it and I undid enough of them to like open up so you can see A, the shirt and B, the bow. So yeah, I try to not hide the bow too much. It's a little crooked. There you go. And try to flare it out as much as I could but I don't know the, the white bow is in the side of my head you guys know I don't put it all the way to the back so you guys can of course see it and also it can I know it can be in frame and also I think partly up close from an angle this doesn't look bad but I don't fully know I was really hoping for this to feel better it's just this doesn't feel right and I just I just don't know. But anyways, um, I think that should be up to you guys. Tell me in the comments below if you think this was a good Disney Mount or a bad Disney Mount. I just don't know, period, if this was or wasn't, or if it's somewhere in the middle. Because again, from the side, this shirt looks good. I feel like this is a somewhat of a good shirt to use for this type of Disney Mount, but I just don't know. I need extra opinions from you guys. So again, tell me in the comments below if you think this was a good Disney Mount or a bad Disney Mount. While you guys do that, I will pick our next character that will be in two weeks. Alright, I have one here. Oh no! I forgot I put this character in here! And this will be the first time I ever do an X-Men character. Technically it's Marvel, um, and it's all by Disney now. And this will be a good one to start off with any X-Men characters. I can barely even say the name. Oh my god. The one, the only Deadpool. Don't worry, I'm not gonna be swearing at the episode, but oh my god. X-Men's owned by Disney now because that's Disney bought 20th Century Fox. How am I gonna do this? <laughs> I have no clue. Alright, um, you guys will have to come back here next time in two weeks on Rainbow Link to see how I do a Disney bound of the one and the only Death Pool. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all that beautiful jazz. Last well, video right there, subscribe right beneath me and also playlist of other Disney bounds are right up there and also be in the link description below. Along with the Disney playlist and also this year's Disney bound playlist, um, leading up to this year so far of Disney bounds and I'll see you guys next time here on Rainbow Link. Bye! Oh my god, what am I gonna do for Death Pool?